What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it today. We are in Binghamton. We're going to Parlor City Sports Cards. I'm really excited. We're going to be showing off the shop with these spy glasses that we got. Uh, I think I like them better than videotaping with the actual phone because then I can go and check out what cards I don't have. So it's going to be fun. I hope you like it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I was just looking at my camera, and apparently it didn't upload or it didn't record the... Uh, the card store that we went into which kind of sucks but uh, I mean I'll have to figure it out for next week's video but I, I just want to let you know and hopefully you, you still enjoy what we found there so hopefully <laughs> enjoy the video all right we're back from parlor city sorry for the mess but we got a lot of cards I'm trying to sell a Mercari so make sure you guys check us uh, out there we got tons of rookie cards on double lots of stacks of inventory i guess you'd call it but got some stuff going out soon so go check us out on mercari i'll put the description in the um the description i'll put the link in the description or just um, if i can't do that i'll probably just give it give you guys our name but anyways let's talk about parlor city so they're kind of i'm gonna organize these cards really quick by price so i can show you guys but they were I like Parlor City. I really do. I liked them better when they were Endicott. They had just piles and piles and piles of inventory that you could just go through and check out some cards. And it's always super fun. Um, now they moved down to downtown Binghamton and they, I guess you'd say diversified, if that's a word, whatever. Um, they have a whole lot of different stuff. Like I showed you guys the card side. A little bit. Hopefully that turned out well. If it didn't, no, I'll check soon. But they also have a like pop culture side with you know movies and you I mean uh, other trading cards like Pokemon. There was stuff over there, comic books and all that stuff. But I didn't show that side just because it didn't really have my interest. But really cool store. Uh, good prices. I thought I thought I was got a good deal. So I got a nice stack of rookies right here. So let's check them out. So we have a Mike. Burl, I think that's how you pronounce his name. All I know about this guy is that he's up for the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, I think he finally, he hasn't gotten into it, but he's on the ballot. I think that's how they do it in the MLB, but solid player. Really hard find uh, a card to find because it comes from the uh, Traditions Update set, and that comes in, just they don't have packs, they have boxes of that. So I didn't want to have to buy a whole set to get this one card. So I got this card for a buck. Really good deal there. Another potential hall of famer in the mlb tory hunter so this is his score rookie card didn't have any of tory hunter's cards for a buck i thought it was a good deal uh i think if he gets to the hall of fame that his card's not going to skyrocket of course because it's mid 90s and uh junk wax but maybe instead of a one dollar card a three dollar card maybe we'll see uh that's good that's a good uh increase i think 200 percent. so next we have a john powell rookie card nice vintage card i see this card on mercari a lot and for the shape it's in i think it's in really good shape uh they had another one for three dollars but had rounded corners but i think this one's a really nice one so nice i think his name is boogie is that his rookie name boogie boogie pal uh probably wrong I like that but nice card there i've seen carrie wood good pitcher from the 90s in the into the 2000s so good picture there like to see it this is bowman's best it's a nice rookie card there didn't have it i don't think but i didn't have it i have his uh regular bowman but not this one so it was cool in there next we got some vintage we have a tom mcdonald tom mcdonald rookie card for eight bucks it's a nice looking card here i was looking at this card online and uh Cards in the bad shape are twelve dollars, so I think this is probably a nice twenty dollar card right here for eight bucks. I think that's gonna be a good deal for us. I before I purchase any cards, I always think to myself, if I was gonna resell it, would I make a profit? If I sold it, still low, but if I sold it, will I make a profit? And if it's like no, then I tend not to buy it because I always can find a deal out there. Like DeAndre Ayton, nice rookie card for him. Rise and Shine. So this is 2018. So this is a rookie patch. Uh, I think this is this my second or first rookie patch for John Jay. And I don't know. All I know is that Suns are what are they third in their? It's not their conference in their division. I think, and he's leading his team with uh, blocks and rebounds. So the Suns looking, they're they're in third place. So they're only three games behind. So I thought it was a nice card, nice basketball card to add. And I think I always am a big fan of good defensive players, and he's pretty solid. 
This is a cool one. Uh, we have a nice Eli Manning rookie uh, patch card. Got this for pretty cheap, 15 bucks. I think it went down. Uh, I think it was um, the next card will definitely show why it was a really expensive lot. Uh, not really expensive, but I'll talk about it at the end. But Eli Manning, nice card there. I didn't have any of his uh, patches or autos. So for, in my opinion, the one of the all-time best quarterbacks in Giants history, I mean, two Super Bowl rings. I think he finished 500 his career. That was pretty good. But one of my favorite players watching uh, was a rookie when I was first really getting into football. So kind of spent my life with his career. So really nice card. And I thought it was really cool to find it for pretty cheap. And the last card, the most expensive card, this was 30 bucks. We have a Clay Thompson. We have a Clay, was it? Marquee, Panini Marquee rookie. It's a nice rookie card from 2013. This was thirty bucks. This was the. This was probably the biggest decision to buy today because I saw online going for forty bucks on ComC. That's where I usually get my prices from, ComC. And uh, I was like, okay, so if it's forty bucks here, if they say it's going to be forty bucks for this card, I'm not going to buy it. But if they say thirty, and I could probably get a ten dollar increase if I sold it someday, maybe if I even went up in price. Then I'll pick it up. And he said, oh, I can get do for 30. I can do 30 on this. So I was like, you know what? That was my that was my number. So we're going to be good. So nice card there. So I think it was. So we had 30, 45, 50, 58. Uh, three couple bucks here. Um, 62, 63, 64. I think this was like three bucks. So like 67 bucks there. Plus with tax and stuff. So not too bad. Not too bad. I thought I was getting pretty good deals. And some cards I definitely needed in my PC. So, nice there. But finally, we got... An, uh, this was a really expensive buy. So, 40 bucks for this hobby pack of 2020 Contenders. This is a Valentine's Day present. So, really glad I got this. So, hopefully it's a... I, I hope <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Hopefully it's a good pack. Hopefully we get lucky and get an auto. In the hobby pack, I think it's 18 packs... With a chance at five autos, and there's five autos, and a hobby box is costing like seven hundred dollars, so crazy. So forty bucks for one hobby pack for a chance of an auto, I'll take it. I took the fourth pack down, so hopefully that's a good pack. So let's take a look. I you might see this some contenders make a presence uh, later on in a couple of weeks, but let's see. Hopefully it's we get a nice auto. Uh, maybe we get a backwards card. So. I don't know the odds. So there's five autos per pack. Not per pack. Five autos per box, 18 packs. So what is it? One in every three? I guess we go with two and a half, three. One out of three chances. I'll take that. All right, so we have Travis Kelsey. So I haven't seen... I'm, I'm trying to just make this as long as possible because I really don't want to know if I'm right or wrong. But I haven't seen any contenders this year. So this is what contenders usually looks like. It, it, they always have this similar design, but that's the back if you haven't seen it. I know a lot of other YouTubers have made a video on it, so they've been able to get their hands on it. I have not. So, ooh, we had a back. Oh, my, did I ruin it? Uh, did we get a backwards card? I don't know. Okay, we have Deshaun Watson. Russell Wilson. Okay. We have an upside down card of Alshon Jeffrey. Just got Alshon Jeffrey right there. Okay, it's backwards, it's backwards, it's backwards. So we definitely get an auto. We definitely get an auto. Let's look at the front. Oh, and then we have a Carson Wentz. We have a car we definitely got an auto, so that's a really good <laughs> that's really good odds. Hopefully it's someone huge. Okay, so we have Carson Wentz. Then we have Alshon Jeffrey. So let's I'm gonna kinda slow slow roll it. So it's Oh, is this Ross Blacklock from the Texans? Ross Blacklock. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So, not the biggest rookie card, but hey, for one out of like three odds to get a rookie card in that box, crazy. So, I'm that's a that's a good odds right there. Not the biggest, but just take a look at that. Our, I'm just dumbstruck. I don't know how good Chris Blacklock is. I'll have to look it up. Um, but hey, it's a rookie auto. I can't be more happy than that. So, Beautiful card there. Oh, beautiful. All right. Well, that is it for this weekend. Thank you all for watching. This has been A to Z Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.